Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Zixaradoom. Thank you for joining me today. We are going to be playing Dyson Sphere Program. Today, we are going to be making a few more things in our quest to the O-Type Star. We're currently right here in this system. We started in this system and we're heading to this one, the O-Type Star. This is the highest luminosity in my star cluster. So that's where we're going to build our Dyson Sphere. So today we're going to be working on as soon as I can figure out how to open my, my there it is. Forgot the hotkey. We are going to be making titanium alloy. So that's what I'm going to work on this episode. Um, and also we'll probably be doing a steel array, um, possibly in this episode too at some point in time, because we need one of those. And then if we've got any time left towards the end, we'll be finishing it up by planting a whole bunch of water pumps to ex uh, to um mine sulfuric acid there's a a uh, planet in the solar system that will supply us with that so that is what we are doing today so we gotta get our we need to get our production facility laid out So we need to be over yonder, like right there. Let's go ahead and do this, so that's six, and two. Very nice. So we want to put this tower right around here. Let's put it here. Perfect. Get our logistics going. Because we're going to need some warpers. get our warper supply line and we need to get some power going on like so there we go all right so we need 24 titanium alloy a minute a second sorry 24 a second and That'll require 72 furnaces. So we're gonna do We're gonna lay it out. Sorry, got a little distracted there for a second. Okay, so I've been making these in arrays of like 32, which I think we'll do here, which means we'll just end up with a little extra processing. It's not that big of a deal. So I believe our output line is going to be in the center because our inputs are pretty like comparatively are going to be high volume right we got lots of them um 
doing any upgrades to this array later on. Shouldn't. Uh, hinder our ability to output onto a single belt. So we're going to output onto a single center belt. Alright, we're going to change this to titanium alloy. Alright, and how long does this recipe nominally take? 12 seconds to produce 4, so... These guys should be plenty. Good deal. Now, the resources coming in are going to be 24 titanium, uh, titanium plate, titanium ingot, 24 steel, uh, and then 48 sulfuric acid. So we want the sulfuric acid to be on the inner line here. Uh-oh. this here? Oh, I am. Just barely squeaked by. In fact, while we're here, let's set up a miner for this stuff. Might as well, right? That looks reasonable. I know it's not fully covering. We're going to cover the rest of it. But five miners. There we go. Get a whole bunch of coverage. Should do. There we go. set this up while we're here, while we're working on this. Might as well. It's right here. Metropole, so there we go. Alrighty. And then we've got our output over here. Perfect.
All right. So we need four, four, and eight. So twelve seconds. And One point five times twelve is a lot. Eighteen. So plenty on that one. Seven five and point five. So twelve times point five is six. So that should be good. Which means our seven five should be fine. Also, whoops. Where did our recipe go? Here it is. Yeah. So four and four. So if point five times twelve is six, then the point seven five will be plenty. So perfect. Level one's all around for now. For those of you who are just joining us or never played the game before, uh, we are at the end of the game. We have gone through the entire tech tree, or pretty darn close. Uh, the only thing left to do is infinite upgrades, and so we are challenging ourselves. That is what we are doing right now. Now, for those of you who haven't played much, furnaces don't have a gap. There's no place to stick a power pole between them, unfortunately. So you gotta leave these gaps here, and I do it on both sides because I like regular patterns. All right, so if we put a power pole in here, it should cover. There we go. Perfect. So how many we got right now? We've got 16, so we need to double what we've got and we should have all of our belts for this array. Missing some power on that one right there. So, can we? It's too close. We can do that. Interesting. So on the on the smaller grids, like this is a larger grid. If you look down here, these are smaller. On these smaller grids, that spacing works, but apparently on these larger grids, it doesn't work quite so well. So, something to keep in mind. Now I could have I could have done a copy uh, with the blueprint. Um, when I'm building up the first array, I don't copy paste very much. I like to kind of do it by hand and then copy paste an entire array all at once later. So that's kind of the way I'd like to do things. Yeah, you can see the circle there. Not it doesn't quite get covered. There we go. Delete those poles out of the whole array later. Alright, we'll just get rid of these extras here on the end. Alright. <clears throat> Pardon me. Alright, so, while well, it's all set up, so. This is our output right here. We'll go ahead and use a blue belt. Um, we technically won't have that much, but. Well, and then we need our proliferator. Let's stick that on there. Oh, we didn't set it up yet. Oops, let me not set up the tower yet. Alright. Get our proliferator, storage, little command. see we've got all of the slots filled up so I couldn't request the warpers that's why I needed a belt to supply them so there I think the only thing consuming this stuff on a high volume basis is the frame parts can we find out over here 
Oh, deteriorating fuel rods. Is it two? What do you know? What about these guys? Oh, those guys need two. Okay, never mind. I was not quite right. So having having some extra production, that'll be a good thing. Oh, what do I have? All these extra warpers in my inventory. Tower. Can't you flick it in, of course. Alright, so before we build the inputs, we're gonna go ahead and copy the array because the inputs are actually gonna go on the next grid down. So we can put these right on top of each other. Uh, I have tested that, it does work, but I don't like the way it looks, honestly. So we'll go ahead and leave a gap. I prefer the gap. Alright, so output's going there. And our inputs are going this way. Uh, this is going to be the input line. So, go there and there. And then this is going to go down here and down here and down here. And we need a power pole. Interesting. I thought we had that covered, but I guess not. Yep, see, the spacing is wonky as you get farther down the grid. I guess we'll have to stick another power pole. There we go. I mean, it's no big deal. The Tesla towers don't use up any power. It's just, you know, using resources efficiently is kind of, kind of the idea. I mean, we could. Hmm. Oh, we could do that. Uh, I require three of these. I think it requires three. So we could do that instead. I'll we'll keep that in mind for the future. Okay, so our inputs are going here, here, and here. So let's lay those out. They're going to be blue belts. There and there. There we go. So this one is our sulfuric acid. So we'll put that in there. So we don't forget. Now, one of, the, one of the advantages of building these arrays the way I do is, let's say that we're using up way more sulfur gas than a bluebell stacked to four can actually supply us. Well, the advantage of having all these splitters in here in this, you know, um, in this main bus fashion, or mini bus fashion in this case, is we can use another set of splitters to input more resources in the places we're lacking, which would probably be farther to the south here. Okay, so let's go ahead, now that we've got it plumbed up, and turn on this array. Because I'm pretty sure we won't be running at maximum capacity. I'm going to turn these down a bit. I th I'm starting to think that it's a bit excessive having it up quite so high. shortage on steel, so... Alright. So while we're waiting for that stuff to come in, we'll go ahead and... We gotta duplicate the array one more time to get up to the 72 that we need. Uh, now this isn't gonna line up perfectly, unfortunately, because we're, we're crossing the... Uh, a line of uh, latitude. Oh, but the array did copy paste, which is good. Sometimes it doesn't work due to the uh, the grid line scrunchage scrunching. Oh, that's not painted. Shoot. Let's go ahead and get a. Uh, 
spray coater on there. Let's put some proliferator on it. Get rid of you. Or put that on there. All right. To update these yellows to blues, we'll see. Give it a minute to raise them into saturate here. on the steel, so... I think that's what we're gonna have to start building next. that we don't need. Oh, oh, we still need them? No. There we go. Very nice. Next up is the steel array. Let's get that started. Should be 
some space right here. And it looks like there is. Very nice. So we want to go far enough to avoid that stone. Recipe is three in one out. So we can do uh, input line on the outside, output line on the inside, and we can do Steel going on here. Sweet. All right, our output is in the middle, and our input is on the outside. So 1.5 per second. So three seconds. That gives us four and a half. So plenty of sorter capacity. Now this time I think hmm. let's do three this time instead. So that's three and three. Will that work for the power pole? We need warpers. Let's turn these down before we request them this time. Let's probably be intelligent. There we 
go. Man, hitting these really low numbers is difficult in these towers. With these upgrades up so far. Put you in there. Put you in there. The, the, the iron's gonna be coming from off planet, so we definitely need warpers in this tower. Uh, the iron ingots coming in should be proliferated already, so it should just be a matter of prol proliferating the steel on the way out. Turbines are easy to click and drag, so that's why I sometimes like to use them instead for power transmission. That, you know, and they generate power, so added bonus. Okay, so let's put our input. I almost always put the output on the uh, on the side closest to the tower. Um, I don't know why. It always just seems to work out that way. It, to me, it, it just feels better for some reason. There we go. So our input's gonna be down there. So you're going this way. You're going this way. And we're probably almost definitely gonna need two belts of uh, of iron. I don't think one's going to be enough to feed all 72. All 96? 96. Based on this, I'm not gonna leave a space this time, mostly because I want to be able to. I don't want to have to cross the latitude line. So this belt's actually going the wrong way because our input's gonna come right there. So. started. Um, oops. Alright, there we go. So we will go ahead and go over here and finish the array. Silly me. Alright, let's try that again. Go over here, and we will actually stick in a pile of these guys, because now our steel is going to be coming from on planet. Alright, we'll control V again, and we will plop down this array one more time. Go over here. Get rid of you. We will get rid of that. That way, and that way, and we will go that way, there we go, and down to the end, these guys finish this off, there we go, perfect. Are we stacking at all? Oh yeah, a little bit. 
but not very many stacks of four, but close enough. As, you know, when things back up, they'll stack to four, and then they'll unstack, and stack to four, and stack, so that's how, how it'll go. But, all right, uh, so there we go. We're making our steel. And I think that's all we're going to have time for in this episode. So thanks for guys for watching. I appreciate all of you that come and spend time with me. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care.